If you are an expectant parent and have a four-legged baby at home already, you may be wondering how to introduce them to your new baby. Well, here to give us some tips is Dr. Courtney Wegard from Vinton Veterinary Hospital. Welcome. Great to see you. Thank you. All right. So this is kind of difficult for a lot of people because you don't know how the dog or cat is going to react right. to the newborn. So what, what tips do you have? For us. Well, first of all, when we, we talk to expectant parents at our class, we always ask, you know, do, have they been to the veterinarian recently? If they have any pre-existing behavior problems, so maybe they've been dealing with some anxiety, whether it's fear or aggression or um, you know, anything like that, any health problems, get those addressed before the baby comes home. Yes, no lie, we had a problem with our German Shepherd with jumping and leaping, and the dog, 65 pounds, leapt yeah. on top of our six-month-old. Exactly. So yeah, that's a, <laughs> that is good. All right, and like you said, you know, get your pets up to date on vaccines, yep. deworming, all that stuff. Absolutely. Why is that important? So if you have an animal that has intestinal parasites or some of the other parasites like fleas and ticks, mm -hmm. those are all disease vectors, and so you don't want to be bringing home the baby and then having to worry about little critters. Okay. And you also say prepare the house before the baby comes. So how could we prepare our homes? Well, a lot of people, if they have an animal in a room um, that's going to be off limits later, it's mm -hmm. a good idea to go ahead and get that room off limits now before the baby comes. Otherwise, the dog or the cat may retaliate <laughs> and not take to it kindly. So yeah. one of my colleagues had made their cat room the baby room, and the cats didn't take too kindly to it and kept jumping in the crib and peeing in the crib. And so they had to really teach the cats that that's not your room anymore, that's for the baby. So getting, you know, anything that's going to be off limits, if you're going to have baby gates up, yeah. go ahead and do, the, do that now yeah. so that the animal gets used to it. Is there any concern, I've always heard about like cats and newborns, like cats want to get and curl up like next to the baby's, you know, neck or head. Is there mm -hmm. any concern, is there real concern of that or is that just a, a myth? It's an old wives tale okay. for sure. I mean they do, they like to seek out warm places or mm -hmm. places that they can curl up. So I have told people in our class that I accidentally left the cats in the, in the nursery with our, and we would always come in and find them curled up on the changing pad or in the rocker. We never found the cats in the crib. Uh -huh. That being said, mm -hmm. um, always good rule of thumb is if you have kitty cats and you have a sleeping baby or you don't want them in the nursery, keep the door closed. Okay, right? yeah, just keep that in mind, that's for sure. All right, and then this is interesting. Start introducing smells yes. to the dog. I, d I never would have thought that. Even cats, too. So if you already have diapers in the house and people already have their powders and their lotions, yeah. uh, make, go ahead and sh introduce it to them. Don't let them obviously take it from you, but show them the smells. Or if you're in the hospital with your newborn, have your partner or your husband or wife bring, you know, bring home a blanket or a hat wow. or something that has the smell of the newborn baby on mm -hmm. it so that your pets can get used to the smell before you even get home. That's a great idea. I never even thought about that. And then um, role play with a baby doll. That's yes, I know. It may seem a little funny, but we mm -hmm. encourage people to hold, practice holding a baby doll. If you have an animal that's um, very attached to you that you're worried about might be jealous, mm -hmm. uh, role play with the baby. Put the baby in the crib. Put the baby in the stroller. Uh -huh. Take your, If you plan to run with your baby in a jogger, mm -hmm. it, it sounds really strange, but take the jogger out without the baby in it and get the dog used to running next to it so that they're oh. not overwhelmed the first time you try to go out. Oh, interesting. Yeah. And then you say the same for baby equipment, like swings and chairs mm -hmm. and any anything that you have. Right. Porter cribs, anything that's going to be downstairs where the animal might be. We kept finding our kitties curled up in the swing and they liked it so we just turned it on and that was it. <laughs> the cat just took off. So. That is so funny. Now you t actually teach a class on this, don't yes. you? Yeah. A colleague uh, from another hospital and I teach the class pro bono. It's mm -hmm. free for expectant parents. We teach it quarterly and it's introducing your four-legged baby to your new baby. Uh -huh. um, so expectant parents can come in and we talk about some veterinary health issues and then really dive into some tips from the trenches and really learn from our mistakes and here's what I wish I'd and known. Tell stories and, uh, and all the rest of it. That's great. Okay, and like you said, it's free for expectant parents. You can go to CorellianClinic.org. Thank you, Courtney. I appreciate it.